Hello! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Samika. If you're new here, I am a singer, an actor, and I make a lot of videos on the internet, so welcome. Today's video, you're gonna think, this is really ridiculous. Why is this even a video? I don't know. In my last video, I talked about making friends while you walk your dogs. Great, what if you don't have a dog? What are some other walkable pets? We're gonna go down a list of pets that I think you can walk. Number one, you guessed it, it's a cat. This is my problem with walking a cat. I moved to this Airbnb, there's a little backyard. I was like, wow, Ziggy, you used to live outside. Maybe you wanna be outside again. I carry him out, unbeknownst to me. He becomes obsessed with the outdoors. Now I feel like I'm trapping my cat inside. But then I read it and people say, well, you shouldn't leave your cat outside because they only live for two to three years. So I don't know how I feel about walking cats just yet because the only thing I'm going by is Reddit. I am a firm believer in the Redditors of the internet. You know when they say, don't believe everything you read on the internet? I believe everything I read on Reddit. It's just how it is. If you have a cat, do you walk your cat? I need help. I'm gonna give a cat rating of five out of 10 because I think it makes them a little psycho. At least in my personal experience, my cat has gone a little psycho. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know because I am a disgruntled cat owner in need of advice. Now, guinea pigs. That's a popular pet. I really don't know why. Firstly, they're a really odd size. Well, actually, I think they're very cute. They're basically like so many, but when I was a kid, one of my family friends had a guinea pig. Why? I don't know. I thought, wow, there's like a little animal in your cage. Let's take it out of the cage. I take it out of the cage. I hold it in my little hand as a child. And this guinea pig was also a child. Two children, unbeknownst to me, I had just finished eating Indian food. If you eat Indian food, you know that a lot of it you eat with your hands. You eat naan. Some like to call it naan bread. Why? I don't know. It's just naan. Now I'm holding this guinea pig as a child. What does it do? It bites my finger so hard to the point that even till date, I hold a grudge against all miniature pigs, guinea pigs, hamsters, any hand-sized rodent. You can imagine how much pain I endured. Would I walk this guinea pig? Probably. I don't recommend carrying it though. So that's a no to carry. Yes to walk. Like, what do they do? I don't know. I really, I have, have you ever seen a guinea pig in the wild? I've never seen a hamster in the wild. Are hamsters and guinea pigs just bred as pets in Petco? I really don't know. No, I'm gonna have to think about that one. Yeah, walk, sure. Carry, absolutely not. Do not hold one of those things. You just take it out of the cage and put it down. That's it, done. Next, another pet you can walk. Cows. They're basically big dogs. I actually have a story about a cow. Where I grew up across from my parents' house is like a pasture land. One day I was like, let me go across the land, across the street, just forbidden. No trespassing signs everywhere. And who am I? That's one secret I'll never tell. XOXO gossip girl. But really, who am I? I live across the street. I'm gonna go to the land. I'm gonna go explore. I'm an expedition. I have nothing to do. I'm stuck in this house with my parents and my sister and my grandma. I gotta go. I walk across the street. I jump over the fence. There they are. Cows everywhere. But there was this video I had seen online where there was like all these jazz musicians and they go to this farmland and they start playing jazz music and then all of a sudden all these cows come and they're all sitting there wagging their tails listening to the music the jazz players are playing. I sing, I can make music. Will the cows come to me? I started singing. There can be miracles when you believe. That song. They, then one by one, these cows started coming. So I kept singing and then more kept coming. And then they were coming closer and closer. And then I got really scared because they're really big. Who knows what miracles you can achieve? Oh my God, guys, wait. <laughs> okay, 
I said my thank you for listening. Thanks, everyone. I did. I told them that I loved them and appreciated them. You know, love thy neighbor. And <laughs> I don't know if I would walk them, though. Back to the point. Um, I think this is just me raiding animals. <laughs> would I walk a cow? You know, I would. I would, go, I would walk with the cow. I feel like they don't need a leash, you know? They're just doing their thing. I would. I would. I'm not as scared anymore. That was just, you know, a one-time thing, I swear. Next animal, rabbits. When I think about a rabbit, I've never seen them walk. Have you? Really think about it for a second. Have you ever seen a rabbit walk? Do they? Do they walk? Or do they just hippity hop? I really don't know. I really, really don't know. Personally, if I'm in a hop everywhere on a walk, I'm gonna get really tired. That's a lot of cardio. I think I would be doing a favor for the rabbit to not walk it. I don't think it's a walkable pet. But I have no experience in the subject, so this is just my opinion. If you are an avid rabbit lover, please let me know. Do they walk? or do they hippity hop? Okay, moving on. Chickens, you know, their necks are just so small. I would feel bad, you know, putting a little collar on that thing and dragging it around. I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna pass. I also think they'll like start, you know, trying to fly and then I'll just like bring them down or like, like have them like a balloon. I don't know if that's the vibe that I wanna go for in public. Last animal, but not least, goats. I think it could be fun to walk a goat. They look like they need to walk, you know? They look like they need to go and, and chew up some stuff. They look like they need to scream. All I think about when I think about a goat is Taylor Swift's song, the da na na. Ah, ah, trouble, trouble. That's all I got for goat. I'm down, I'm down to harmonize. I'm down to like let people know that we are here. We're on a walk. All right, and that concludes today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, there's a squirrel outside and my immediate thought was, can I walk that squirrel? You never know what life will bring you. Hopefully not guinea pigs. Thank you so much guys, love you. Have the best day ever. Remember to go for a walk today. Remember to leave your house today. I'm gonna leave you with that. If you take anything from this video is leave your house today because I heard from an old lady once, she told me, well, actually, I read it, I saw it on the internet, so she told everyone. But she said, nothing happens if you don't leave your house. You gotta have something happen. Also, thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I know that it's been a huge jump, and I'm sure all of you have seen this, like, crazy jump of subscribers on my channel. It's really cool. I feel like I have finally made my own little community, and you guys are so nice. And I just wanted to say thank you, and I appreciate you all so much, and I'm excited to grow together. That's all. Have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye.